very good morning friends today we are going to discuss a very very important thing i wish all of you first of all a very happy friday shukravar and shukravar is generally said to be the day for shubham as well as lot of money and you are not supposed to shave on shukravar and also on tuesday and uh, one more thing is you are not expected to pay pay any money to anybody <laughs> because if you pay lakshmi goes out and it is difficult for you to get back lakshmi and this is a thing which of course which is very symbolic and uh, mentally um soul searching and i really we are having you see very highly sensitive brains in in our yogis they used to browse brood over brood over continuously for a long time on every aspect of life see the astrological uh, whole uh, science is a, a fifth veda people say it's pancham pancham veda and i don't know how you know so many things are being talked about the effects of planets the combinations and horoscope so let us not go into detail in detail about it but i just wanted to uh, just touch it because this friday is a auspicious day for many things people go to temples and then um, pray god all good things they do now a good thing we will discuss today see unfortunately in the name of globalization some time back all these countries including india joined hands and moved to the to to business uh, open business in each country there are deals of course what types of commodities can be uh, sold and uh, in a different country in the country each country has its own restrictions but the marketing and the selling has gone into other countries also So this is a big development because of this social um, ethics and morals they they used to get conflicted by the other countries every society has its own ethics and morals there is no commonality so people used to work above all these things so ethics and morals have gone to dogs education got commercial everything in fact not only prostitution everything became commercial and prostitution they they are they don't try freedom they see freedom at uh, uh, freedom at 24 by 7 whatever you do on the street in the night also is not controlled in many cities many cities it is uh, free anybody can do any damn thing until early morning 6 uh, o'clock there are countries in uh, france gang <laughs> things in france germany america and to some extent in india which are called red light areas nowhere else of course prostitution takes place but education has become a commercial item so where it has come close, very close to prostitution you pay the fees and get the certificate to be free in fact you write the exam only as a nominal exam and you will even if you get zero marks you get a rank in uh, mcet exam even if you get zero marks you get a rank and you get a seat in engineering 
what a great uh, yeah, facility for you. And slowly engineering, MSET exam, sitting, everything got changed. Because what happens over a period of time is, this prostitution gives rise to HIV. HIV cannot be cured. It is very difficult to cure HIV. Similarly, now education all over the world, of course, including India, is attracting HIV. And uh, so what is happening? Students are mugging up, by hearting and spitting in the exam and uh, engineering colleges and then universities, including the Gita University of Visakhapatnam, they are happy doing it. Indirectly, they think they are helping the parents and parents also are un unaware of what are the consequences of this uh, type of uh, uh, education. So the commercialization of education brought to a stage where the certificate, engineering certificate, which is being issued by JNTUs of Hyderabad, Kakinada, and also the uh, Anantapur, all these have become now the fake uh, degrees, fake certificates, very close to fake, because they are certified and then stamped and given to you. They Even if the student gets 30 marks, in the name of uh, uh, equating the, uh, you know, past percentage, maintaining the past percentage. Then what happened? I said, see, note taking has a indirect relationship with the memorization. A finger, your finger, which is uh, the one which is writing the notes, has a link with your head brain. So what happens is that whatever you write uh, as a nurse while hearing to the, to the teacher is going to have a stay in the brain for quite some time. These people are not being taught and uh, this is a practice and uh, this is a very well known. Every morning 3.40 you get up, your mind will be clean, you, whatever you read, whatever you write, you will remember. All these things are very, very natural in, in uh, Indian uh, early life, way of life until it became modern, modern. <laughs> what a modern! It has completely spoiled the, every aspect of life. The so-called modern, modern has spoiled every walk of life. So let us look at this commercialization now. Commercialization of news also now. <laughs> every bloody channel, news channel, is bought by somebody, maybe some party. So Congress party's newspapers are different. Communist party's newspapers are different. And uh, BJP's group newspapers are different, like that, news channels uh, and all that. See, these, uh, the Andhra Jyoti is <laughs> also, you know, bought by, uh, so, so those bought by a, a Muslim leader. And so many, every newspaper, every news uh, channel on TV, on YouTube, they are all commercial and a party behind. So what happens? They are stooges of the, these parties. The only interests of these parties are more important than any other realistic news. The responsibility towards the society has been uh, derailed and no ethics, no morals. Make money, make money, make money. So making money is how? Ad world, <laughs> ad world, my dear, ad, ad, ad. You, you go to an, you see, even on your cell phone, you download some apps. Every app will be having one or two ads. What a pity. 
even even on tv channels even on youtube even on simple apps on your cell phone everything is flooded with ad 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 word don't you think it's a pity people are unable to see even serials because every serial will have only half an hour and then that serial half an hour 10 to 15 minutes are ads and ads and ads repeated repeated ads how boring how ugly it is you know i can't explain they are anyway in fact many of the women who watch regularly old people also old women also who watch regularly these serials with a lot of interest they are also losing interest they are unable to find out a what are alternatives for this type of boring really uh, suffering like hell you know so the point is what we should understand now is that this commercialization this ad world has come to a stage where this is a commercialization of news and it is a pity that it has come to a stage where everybody is spitting on it ugly ugly even the medical problems that people are facing except a few in the name of you know suddenly they bring out the news and say oh great news is coming oh 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 and now uh, over 10 to 15 minutes they will lure you and ultimately they some tell something tell you something very already known to you or it may be may not be exciting so selling news selling news uh, getting money through ads uh, whole thing put together has made the whole world of news news and newsmen to be becoming a only businessman businessman and not telling the truth i'll tell you one example which i faced myself hello my dear friends very very glad to see you and bless god bless you all with a mental balance and good health very glad to inform you that we have opened wealth care hospitals during the covid time to really take care of the wealth of people and health indirectly health of the people we have opened wealth care hospitals and was giving treatment during covid covid phase 1 we have done a great job of anybody who joins the hospital first immediately about 30 tests have to be done and he should shell out something like 2 lakh rupees and then then he will be admitted into icu icu what do we do we have, we keep him in a icu ic and in cool place and give him morning till evening sleeping pills so that he won't feel the pain <laughs> pain management sir <laughs> and we what we do is gain management money gain management and you know how we treat we treat the patient with 13 medicines a day 13 medicines a day why you ask any doctor she or he will say we don't know what works so we give 13 and at least one may work and she or he may become normal and get uh, we get go out of the hospital you know and you know world health organization which of course is renamed as world wealth organization is the one which is helping you and me to understand the real characteristics of even the flu of course every year you know flu is coming and going and this flu is 
we have made it a pandemic we said even dry cough is covid <laughs> dry cough is covid all the characteristics of flu are brought into covid you don't know and world health organization is the one which was leading all the two and a half years making us buy making people buy sanitizers mouth to pieces and what not and blow blow the trumpet and tell be careful be at home be alone be alone be alone <laughs> Two and a half years, we sucked your blood, oh patients. We took care of you and your wealth. We took care of our wealth, and very very successfully we did it. And only after two and a half years, now you really were made to enjoy loneliness. Now I think you understood the importance of loneliness, and also started becoming lonely. and enjoy loneliness what a great achievement <laughs> you also became low in loneliness enjoyers the lovers of loneliness and if you are called by some good friend of you you don't raise your phone and you will not listen to him because already bored bored of listening a lot of people are there outside who will be advising you all the time but not practicing it in their life <laughs> only say prophecies prophecies professors and they say be selfless be they say donate donate be selfless but whatever happens to the donations don't bother because they are all our money and we suck it <laughs> shamelessly are you oh my god we lost all that shame and other thing ego and all pop uh, become you know you know very very sentimental and we are today not believe in god but we we believe in gold we believe in money we believe in wendy we believe in money 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 <laughs> oh you know no money is nothing but god but for us it is money so wealth organizations are there all around and be happy we will take care of you any time you get into our uh, hospitals now the 2 lakh rule also is no problem we will keep you for 4 5 days bill you for 2 lakhs and immediately relieve you great achievement no so within 4 5 days you can join the hospital you can go out billing us with 2 lakhs and we will be very happy to receive that money ha ha come 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 for only 4 5 days beyond that you will be relieved because 2 lakhs is the limit great 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 achievement the whole world is now looking at us and laughing at their best very very laughing very happy you know that laugh is a happiness a sign of happiness my dear friends thanks a lot for all you are hearing and i'll come back to you later with some more data and some more information thanks a lot thank you thank you <clears throat> so now the main focus what i am trying to say is the commercialization of every activity every activity including the family after covid of two and a half years people started uh, becoming lonely and then in the initially they used to hate it but over a period of time they started uh, very closely happily enjoying this loneliness solitude solitude they say and there are no books on uh, how to be happy during solitude <laughs> when no social animal comes to you and talk to you when any society fellow will say hello on the road when nobody calls you and 
when you are sick and in the hospital nobody calls you and gives any solace that is the world today selfish self oriented that's all oh, the, i don't want what happens to others sir. let me take care of myself let me take care of myself this is a pit- pitiable situation it is created by this commercialization of every damn thing every damn thing and in, indirectly everything became a prostitution the institution of prostitution education family ha huh? and what not every aspect every aspect life sincerity social responsibility all that only for talk oh, there are so many people my dear friends like me to go on giving lectures and uh, put on uh, youtube but where is the sincerity where is the honesty in fact i spent 90 lakhs for my wife because of this uh, uh, wealthy wealthy hospitals like prathima hospital and uh, the, uh, the hospital in hyderabad opposite jntu which took 90 lakhs to overall Pratima, Calcium, and Brinova Rehabilitation Center, all put together, I spent ninety lakhs. What a pity! In fact, I am not a rich fellow. I only worked in a public sector undertaking like BHL Research and Development, and retired. And I am seventy-six six now, and my wife was five or seventy-two, and she got COVID, and uh, Pratima Hospital charged me forty lakhs. Calcium Hospital charged me fifteen lakhs, and Brinova charged me another fifteen lakhs. So what to do? Horrible situation, my dear. And all this are because of KCR not hearing. Even the High Court has given left and right to this fellow, but he still said no, no. Each time is something else. Please give me some time. First time, second time he asked. No, 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 sir. Central government uh, policy I want to follow. Somehow skipped, and what money he made nobody knows, except uh, digital. It's a uh, mostly digital Hyderabad, of course. Why is that? Nobody knows. <laughs> My God, this is how the whole world has been, you know, made into a commercial establishment, breathing and exhausting. exhaust all this has become again commercial laughing has become commercial <laughs> what a pity my dear friends and in this pitiable state we are still living still living because we are learning or we learned quite a bit in the in the, somehow accommodating solitude and we are not interested in talking to somebody else Listening to anybody like me, who is a nuisance, telling all the, those things which are true, but they are uh, what, what for? I what for? Over is over. The power of now is a book. Just go and read. Don't bother about past. Don't bother about future. Bother about now. And there's a good book, no doubt, but it is a philosophical book which should be understood properly. But I can also use it for my present situation. Present to be worry about today, to uh, today, not only today, at, at this point of time, eight for eight eight eleven in the morning of this uh, Friday. So anyway, let us uh, understand that this situation has to go, and who, whatever is the root cause. has to be completely packed out removed not just removed packed out roots also should be taken out otherwise it will spread like wildfire and let us come out of this commercialization let us come out of this or running after money 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 it is a, it's it, in fact if you run after lakshmi she will not you can't catch her if it comes on its own then only you can uh, you know receive some money so my dear friends try to understand that this commercialization of every damn thing including education marriage marriage is commercial pujas are commercial 
death is, death ceremonies are commercial what not what is there what it is that they have left so let us come to a conclusion that this commercialization making money making money at whatever it cost has to die let us bury it as soon as possible and get into a very fresh world where we can breathe properly don't mark money money will come after you don't go after money in fact our saints and uh, saints they told us that money will come after you but don't run after money so please take my word like this and then don't run after money don't commercialize every damn thing and see we all were given a booster dose of covid shield after the first dose second dose are over and uh, third dose it was given which is called booster dose and i used by and my wife we were actually taking covid shield earlier so third dose also covid shield was taken you believe me the moment i took within two days there was swelling in my feet and joint pains started severely the swelling also is not a small thing so i could not understand what to do and uh, see it is a pity that uh, 75 to 80 percent of people who took booster dose in hyderabad got this said said swelling in uh, feet and severe joint pains which in fact let me tell you there people say it's a side effect okay side effect but how many 80% of the people and this news has not been passed on to people at all all the channels all the newspapers are just they kept it secret because ad people gave you the money these channels gave them money government gave them money my god kcr government is a such a great government that it allowed blood sucking during covid by the hospitals apollo hospital used to charge 1 and 1/2 lakh per day in icu right so prithima hospital where my wife stayed for about 4 4 months for covid it also charged something like 70000 a day in icu like that suddenly first time covid covid one every every hospital used to charge like this three times four times a normal fees and in vizag visakhapatnam it seems they those same hotels these hospitals charge a lot of money but they wanted money in cash so that you know no record will be there what a pity and no newspaper has reported it and kcr got back side money lot of money that's how he made a lot of money but all those details are slowly going to come by central government is already observing so much of data is already there but at the right time it will come out and uh, everybody knows about how much money papam 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 case you are got it for what what is he going to do with that money when he dies nothing comes with him is you are me also nothing comes with along with us not a piece if at all anything is there inside the body as a gold piece that also will be removed and you will be thrown into the dustbin into the fire are into the soil what for you all this money making i don't understand those so many people are now my god everybody is after money 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 mindedness has become a big uh, you know drug disease that's why vivek ramaswamy the presidential candidate in us very openly says there we are not only drug addicts of that type of drugs it is also drugs any pain 
take combiflap. Any pain, any fever, take dolo, immediate. You are not giving any time for the body to come back and naturally heal itself. Now in 2017 when I went to US and stayed for seven months with my sons, you know what, what I found is wherever you go, any hospital openly says that antibiotics stopped working my dear. We can't help you. Don't come until 20 days. Your body can heal itself. First time. <laughs> I heard such a statement. That means it's body in the body, God is there. And God is there in every atom of the body. So the moment something comes in as virus, immediately the blood works back and it develops a certain amount of um, reaction. And those things are the guns which are going to give you immunity in the long run. So any vaccine also creates a reaction in the blood and those things will be the ones which will help you in next time not getting this virus. So immunity buildup is okay. Ultimate aim of every vaccine is immunity buildup. But one very interesting thing is every time they say after three months this vaccine may not work, you have to take another dose. First to time. It's a big market, why? First time, three months. Oh, it works only for three months. Then why the hell it is to be given? All over the world this business continued. All the WHO, the WHO which is, I call it as WWO, World Wealth Organization, is the one which is the culprit. And it is the stooge of China. And Wuhan, uh, this thing, lab, lab, this one, they have camouflage. They did not uh, speak out about it. And even now, shameless fellows. And WWO is talks to you will he will be giving you instructions. Be careful. Be this. Do this. Do this. Nonsensical fellows. So the point I, I am trying to make is the whole world is flooded with money, and all the hospitals in US also, in all the countries. The Hello, my dear friends. Very, very glad to see you and bless, God bless you all with a mental balance and a good health. Very glad to inform you that we have opened wealth care hospitals during the COVID time to really take care of the wealth of people and health indirectly, health of the people. We have opened wealth care hospitals and was giving treatment during COVID. COVID phase one, we have done a great job of anybody who joins the hospital first immediately about 30 tests have to be done and he should shell out something like 2 lakh rupees and then then he will be admitted into ICU. ICU what do we do? We, have, we keep him in a ICU IC, and in cool place and give him morning till evening sleeping pills so that he won't feel the pain. <laughs> pain management, sir. <laughs> and we, what we do is gain management, money gain management. And you know how we treat? We treat the patient with 13 medicines a day. 13 medicines a day. Why? You ask any doctor, she or he will say, we don't know what works. So we give 13 and at least one may work and she or he may become normal and get, uh, we get go out of the hospital. You know, 
and you know world health organization which of course is renamed as world wealth organization is the one which is helping you and me to understand the real characteristics of even the flu of course every year you know flu is coming and going and this flu is we have made it a pandemic we said even dry cough is covid <laughs> dry cough is covid all the characteristics of flu are brought into covid you don't know and world wealth organization is the one which was leading all the two and a half years making us buy making people buy sanitizers mouth to pieces and what not and blow blow the trumpet and tell be careful be at home be alone be alone be alone <laughs> Two and a half years, we sucked your blood, oh patients. We took care of you and your wealth. We took care of our wealth, and very very successfully we did it. And only after two and a half years, now you really were made to enjoy loneliness. Now I think you understood the importance of loneliness, and also started becoming lonely. and enjoy loneliness what a great achievement <laughs> you also became low in loneliness enjoyers the lovers of loneliness and if you are called by some good friend of you you don't raise your phone and you will not listen to him because already bored bored of listening a lot of people are there outside who will be advising you all the time but not practicing it in their life <laughs> only say prophecies prophecies professors and they say be selfless be they say donate donate be selfless but whatever happens to the donations don't bother because they are all our money and we suck it <laughs> shamelessly ayo oh my god we lost all that shame and other thing ego and all pop we have become you know you know very very sentimental and we are today not believe in god but we we believe in gold we believe in money we believe in wendy we believe in money 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 <laughs> oh you know no money is nothing but god but for us it is money so wealth organizations are there all around and be happy we will take care of you any time you get into our uh, hospitals now the 2 lakh rule also is no problem we will keep you for 4 5 days bill you for 2 lakhs and immediately relieve you great achievement no so within 4 5 days you can join the hospital you can go out billing us with 2 lakhs and we will be very happy to receive that money ha ha come 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 for only 4 5 days beyond that you will be relieved because 2 lakhs is the limit great 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 achievement the whole world is now looking at us and laughing at their best very very laughing very happy you know that laugh is a happiness a sign of happiness my dear friends thanks a lot for all you are hearing and i'll come back to you later with some more data and some more information thanks a lot thank you thank you